Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use the redacted modifier in Swift UI. And to do that, we're gonna use the redacted state as kind of a loading state until our data comes in, as you just saw on the screen. All right, let's get started. As always, I like my tutorials to be focused on the task at hand, and that is the redacted modifier. So let me walk you through the basic starter project real quick so you can get caught up. So on the right, you can see like a mock-up of a typical profile type screen. Uh, the whole thing's just one VStack, starts here, but it's made up of other elements. For example, this VStack is just my circle face and then my name, pretty standard. Uh, I got a spacer in there to, for looks. And then this next VStack is just uh, H stacks of the icon in the title, like, you know, email, phone number, seanallen.co. And I used a uh, image and a text and not a label on purpose. We'll come back to that. And then finally, we just have our button uh, with our button styling here. So pretty simple, basic Swift UI uh, layout. Now let's talk about redacted. So we're gonna do this in phases, right? The redacted modifier is actually quite simple. Let's start with my face here, right? This image, uh, so under the clip shape circle, I can do dot redacted, and then the reason I wanna be is placeholder. That is the only reason available, at least as of iOS 14. Um, you know, it's likely uh, Apple and SwiftUI is going to evolve into more reasons. Right now, all we got is placeholder, so use that. But as you can see on the right, now we got this placeholder for just my face. Well, that's cool, uh, but you don't have to do redacted on each individual element, right? Like I don't wanna do redacted on the text, redacted on everything else, right? You can put redacted, so I'm gonna cut and get my spacing right here, so you see my face come back, on this overall V stack, right? Uh, this holding everything, which uh, the curly brace for that is down here. So I'm gonna put redacted on here, now you see everything on the right, the image, my name, the button even got redacted, right? So you can put redacted on the parent view or you can do individual views as you see fit. But there's another way to unredact, literally, that's how you do it, uh, certain views. So right now I have redacted on the entire VStack, that is redacting everything as you see on the right. But maybe I want my images here because like the envelope images, the phone image, you know, that has nothing to do with whatever data I'm loading. That's always gonna be there. So maybe I want those unredacted. So you can go back and literally just type unredacted and you can see my envelope came back. And we'll do that here on the image for the phone. And we'll also do that here uh, on the image for the network there, which is like my website. So here you can see uh, now what's not redacted is the envelope icon, the phone icon, and the network icon. So again, what's going on here, by putting redacted on the entire VStack, we're redacting everything. However, we're going back and saying, yeah, redact everything except for these images, unredacted, unredacted, unredacted. And that's why I didn't use label, right? Because label kind of combines the image and the text into one view. So that's why I wanted to keep the image and the text separate so I could unredact the image. Now I wanna show you something about this button, right? Because buttons are tricky with redacted. So let's actually run this on the simulator. And we're in dark mode, so you can see side by side, light and dark mode, but you can see my button is redacted. However, when I tap it, I still get the, let me move this over, right? See the button tapped, button tapped, button tapped down here. So even when an item is redacted, your button is still active. So we need to handle that uh, accordingly, right? Because usually when we're loading something, we don't want the button to be active. And then when something's done loading, then we want it to be active. We're gonna handle that now, but it's also part of creating that loading state. So let's create the loading state first, and then we'll handle the button as well as showing the information when we're done loading. All right, so let me stop this simulator, and we're going to use a function here. This is just to a uh, function in the content view. Uh, this is just to simulate a network call. So we'll do func uh, start network call. So we'll do dispatch uh, q.main.async, and then we'll do a deadline here to execute some work here. And we'll do dot now uh, plus three. So what we're saying is now plus three seconds. So this is giving us like a little uh, three second delay here. Uh, and then we'll close it off, do our closure. And what do we wanna do after the three seconds? Again, we're simulating the network call. So we want something called is loading. So when we start the network call is loading, we, we haven't created this yet. I'm gonna create this in a second. I'm just right here. So is loading equals uh, true. And then when the network call comes back after the three second delay that we put on, we wanna say is loading uh, equals false, right? Because we're no longer loading. We got the information back from the server. We wanna show it. Okay, it's just telling me I don't have is loading. So up at the top here in the content view, we need to make is loading a state variable. That way, anytime this variable gets updated, we update our UI, uh, which is what we want because we wanna show the information and not the redacted view. So at state uh, private var is loading equals false. That's the default value. And then when do we wanna call this, uh, let's get rid of that here. When do we wanna call start network call, right? We're gonna do that on appear for our v, uh, v stack. So dot on appear closure, we'll do start 
network call. There you go. So anytime our VStack appears, we're going to make this network call to download the profile. Again, we're faking it. We're not actually downloading it, um, but we're simulating uh, that it's going to take three seconds to download. So back to redacted, right? Here's our redacted reason placeholder. Well, when it's loading, we want to show the placeholder, which is what you see on the right. When it's not loading, we actually want to like not show any redacted. We want to show my face and my information like we did. So we can put a ternary operator here, uh, is loading. And then when is loading is true, show the placeholder and then the colon for the ternary. And when it's not true, the empty option set, because the redacted reasons here that we have to pass in is an option set. So when that's empty, it's basically saying there's no reason. So don't show redacted again, what this is saying, while is loading equals true, show the placeholder when it's false, don't show any redacted, right? That's what we want. And before we test that, we'll do one little thing with our button. Remember we wanted to disable our button when we're loading and then enable it when we're not. So the button has a dot disabled modifier and you can see it just takes in a Boolean, but again, we can pass in is loading, right? So when is loading equals true, we'll disable it. When is loading equals false, it's enabled. So let's run this on the simulator to test this. I'm gonna have to run it twice because the first time you should just see my, uh, my redacted stuff for three seconds. So any second now we should switch. There we go. Uh, there's my information, right? And if I tap updated profile, we're seeing button tapped. So let's run this again. And uh, I'm gonna try to tap the button while it's loading. Okay, I'm tapping, nothing's happening, nothing's happening. Okay, now it's happening. So you can see our button was disabled while we were loading and now it's enabled when we're done loading. So that's the basics of a loading state with redacted. Again, the redacted modifier is pretty straightforward. You can put it on the overall V stack or the overall view, uh, or you can put it on individual views. And if you put it on the overall view, you can unredact specific views if you're going for that type of look. Uh, and then again, remember buttons uh, are, you can still tap buttons even when they're redacted. So keep that in mind. If you like my teaching style, I started creating my own courses at the website you see here. You can watch the first, you know, roughly 10% of each course for free just to get a feel for it. And the link is also in the description. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one.